is that it does indeed uh, put financial handcuffs on future legislators. Uh, constitutionally, you'd be pretty much limited this well you would be limited absolutely to 5.5 percent if we went through a recession like we did back in 2008 and 2009 we sat there preparing our budget thinking there'd be three and a half four percent revenue growth and we ended up with about a 15 percent revenue decrease we were lucky Washington helped rescue us we don't know what would happen in Washington under similar circumstances <laughs> in the future. I mean, we might not see a Congress willing to pump six billion dollars into North Carolina's economy. We don't know what we would have to backfill that hole before we utilized sales tax as well as increasing surcharge on the income tax. No. And, uh, and, and that, that in combination was a wise decision. That in combination was able to get us out of a hole in addition to getting money in from Washington. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'm not a prognosticator, and nor do I have a crystal ball. But I do know that if it's limited to 5.5%, and if we went through something like we did back in 2009, then we could see our sales tax uh, end up in double digits really quickly. And these sales taxes are regressive. Low and moderate income people pay them disproportionately, whereas a progressive income tax basically high income earners are going to be a higher percentage of their income. Senator so it's due to that factor, I, I cannot support I mean, it. And um, Senator Tucker knows of my concerns.